Welcome to West Wing Week. Welcome to the West Wing Week, your guide to everything that's happening at 1600 Pennsylvania Avenue and on the road to the State of the Union. All right, let's go. This week, the president traveled to Michigan and Arizona. Let's go. To preview new policy initiatives from his upcoming State of the Union address on January 20th. That's right, free for everybody who's willing to work for it. That's January 2nd to January 8th, or uh, spoiler alert. Uh, there are a lot of things I want to talk about, and I figured why wait? The first family returned to Washington, D.C. after spending the holidays together in the president's beautiful home state of Hawaii. On Tuesday, a snowy White House welcomed the Mexican government for a second meeting of the U.S.-Mexico high-level economic dialogue. President Obama hosted President Peña Nieto in the Oval Office to discuss our integrated economy and how our Norte-Americano relationship can benefit our workers and companies. Later, the president welcomed to the Oval Office the executive committee of the National Governors Association. The bipartisan group of governors from across the country discussed how they could work together across party lines. Governors generally end up being a lot less partisan uh, on a day-to-day -day basis than, than Congress does. Meanwhile, the vice president was on Capitol Hill, leading the ceremonial swearing-in of the United States Senate. West Wing Week hopped in the VP's limo for the ride to the Hill to get his take on the meaning of this symbolic moment for democracy. I can't think of a greater honor than being sworn in as a United States Senator. It's especially exciting for the new members, whether they're Republican or Democrat. On Wednesday from the Oval Office, the president addressed the terrorist attacks in Paris. Uh, these terrorists fear freedom of speech and freedom of the press. Later that day, the president traveled to the Ford, Michigan assembly plant. It's tricked out, is what you're saying. The Detroit area is home to a resurgent manufacturing sector thanks to the president's auto rescue, which saved more than one million jobs and gave the American auto industry, you guessed it, a new lease on life. On Thursday, the president woke up in Phoenix, Arizona. Yeah, I wanted to say hi to this guy real quick. One of the state's hardest hit by the housing crisis. So, it's a nice kitchen. Yeah. And so, what did you, you say the square footage of this one? Uh, this one's actually 1,300. It feels bigger. It does. Uh -huh. yeah. 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 Michelle and I, when we bought our first house, you know, there was like, <laughs> had to have the plus some folding chairs. <laughs> the president spoke about the important strides the nation's housing market has made in recent years and announced an executive action that he'll take to build on that momentum and lower the mortgage payment for nearly 800,000 responsible middle class homeowners by almost $1,000 a year. So get ready for this year's State of the Union address. It'll air on January 20th right here at whitehouse.gov. Thanks so much for checking out this edition of your West Wing Week. In the wind. Careful now. Did you just hit the governor? Did you just hit the governor of Utah with your thing? Come on, guys. Uh.